hello. Uh, no good evening, no good morning, no good afternoon, because I don't actually know what time this is going out. Probably about six. So, yes, yeah, probably good evening. Probably. I look a bit flustered because I got to the end of making this video and in the last sentence I had a whole stream of text arrive. So now we have to start again. It's the 2nd of February, it's the Feast of the Presentation when Mary and Joseph took the, G, took the baby Jesus to the temple uh, as is was the tradition and still is uh, in Orthodox Judaism um, to be presented to God. And there they met the old guy Simeon who we met briefly in the Armistice Day video. And Simeon recognised Jesus instantly as the Messiah. And he said these words, didn't he? We've done them. Lord, now let us now thy servant depart in peace according to your word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which you has brought before the face of all your people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of the people of Israel. And every day, uh, even song in the Anglican Church, and I suspect the Catholic Church in most of their evening rites and at funerals, this is repeated. And Simeon then died been waiting to die for a long time, poor old guy. Uh, Dehumidifier's just gone off, that's good. Um, slightly quieter now. What, what, what's, what's this got to do with Church of the Dispossessed? The key, the key is the beginning of the last verse. To be a light to lighten the Gentiles. That means that Jesus basically came for the non-believers. He didn't come for the Jewish people. He came for all people. And to be the glory of the people of Israel. By enlightening the Gentiles, by being a light to the Gentiles, by doing whatever he did to the Gentiles. I'll look at an example in a minute. He actually brought the, the Jewish people to the forefront of society and religion and whatever. The thing we're going to look at is in the fourth gospel, gospel according to St. John, and it's a Marian woman and Jesus, well we're just going to do it briefly because I've done it a couple of times now. Samarian woman, Samarian Samaritan, same thing, hated because she's a Samaritan and lowest of the low because she's a woman. Jesus had absolutely no right to speak to her, yet he goes up and asks her for a drink. Social and political suicide, one move, gone. Forget it now, mate, you're nothing. She gives him a drink, they have a chat and yeah, they got on okay, despite what some feminist theologians might say, the fact that he was talking to a tall is very liberating for women. So we will come back to that and, and various other instances involving uh, women, um, <laughs> one of which being his mother was a woman. Uh, it's kind of another key that we, we tend to look at, I think, wrong. And we need to look at it in, in new light and in new ways and from different angles to see what we can get that's actually very positive out of it. The last bit of their chats Jesus um, mentioned something about her husband and she said oh, I, I don't um, um, I don't have a husband and, and Jesus says yeah you've had five and the guy you're living with now isn't your husband and that kind of shocks her and uh, astounds her and she was very sort of oh you are you know, obviously a very great man blah 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 and as it drifts on and it ends with Jesus saying Go back to your village and tell them you've met me. Jesus does not do that in the Synoptic Gospels. In Matthew, Mark and Luke, with his own people, Jesus does things and says things and then says, Shh, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. What's the difference between his own people and the Samaritan woman, apart from the fact that she is hated and despised, largely for being a, a Samaritan, 
and of course she's worth nothing as a woman and yet he sends her out she becomes an apostle by her actions assuming that she went back to her people and said hey guess who i met i she has become an apostle and that is something that we miss and we mustn't the dispossessed the samaritan woman is elevated high but quietly and privately with no fuss and no condition it's probably shorter than i intended but i say interruptions do tend to make them kill people um yeah, it's going to be a th about three videos where I look pretty much the same because, well, they're all being shot on the same night. <coughs> Hopefully we will see you again soon with something a bit more coherent. Um, don't miss the latest Malta video, the one before this one. Uh, that's quite fun. There's going to probably be more of that sort of thing. Now we've got the GoPro and proved it works. And the video following this is quite an important announcement about this channel. That might have been before as well, depending on when they go out. Might even have different clothes. It might only be two videos in the same clothes. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. And thank you very much for your comments. We'll see you again soon.